Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Let's dive right into the last area to explore regarding put downs and constant criticisms you might experience from your inner circle or loved ones. The area in which I believe is the most difficult for us to emotionally digest and be at peace with. Imagine the same scenario we played out in part two. You walked in your home after a long 10 hour day at your new job, exhausted and ready to relax. Remember your partner's demeanor from the previous example. They were projecting frustration and upset. This time, instead of reacting negatively, you sigh. You're still bracing yourself for what is to come, but say, hello, honey. How was your day today? Is everything all right? You look upset. Your partner retorts, no stupid, everything's not all right. When I must come home to a mess because you don't know how to wash a dish or fold laundry. I have told you time and time again, and yet your thick head just cannot allow that I need help. It's no wonder you got laid off from your last job for being so useless. First of all, what does helping out around the house have anything to do with getting laid off from a professional position? Secondly, why use rude words like useless no matter how angry or upset your partner might be? This language is not and never is okay. But do remember, you're always at choice, even in these volatile situations. You can easily come back at your partner with rude and hurtful words, screaming and yelling, or even silence, none of which are productive. They do not clearly communicate and express your feelings and issues with what just happened. That which would be the first step in the process, clearly stating your boundaries, triggers, and how you want to be treated and spoken to or not spoken to. This may not come at the moment. It would be very hard for anyone to react clearly in the face of someone trying to push buttons or coming at us when we first walk through the door. But you can ask your partner to sit down and have a meaningful discussion with you when the emotions have calmed. If you're feeling, this is so me, you might be thinking, well, I've already tried this. I've had this conversation so many times that I'm just wasting my breath now. But in part 4B, we will dive deeper into handling this type of situation and what you can do. To get a more detailed account of part 4A, check out my blog series as always. Just head over to feathertrinity.com and click on the blog link to read more. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks guys.